In this video, I'll show you how to highlight duplicates in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and videos on how to use Calc software. I'll start by just creating a column of numbers. You will go from number 1 through 17. And you may have a column of numbers or words or letters. It will still work the same to highlight duplicates. Yeah, I'll just change one of the cells to be a duplicate number and I'll just put in three. Then we want to make sure to select the whole range of cells that we want to check for duplicates. In this case, it's column A from cell A3 all the way down to A19. Quick keyboard shortcut to select a contiguous column of values is by holding down the Control Shift key and press down once. And Calc automatically selected for me from cell A3 all the way to A19. Now that my selection is made, we'll go up to the Format menu, choose Conditional, and then choose Condition. Here it opens up a conditional formatting wizard. And for the first dropdown, we could leave it as cell value. For the second dropdown, we don't want to check for the value to be equal to anything. Instead, we'll change this to is duplicate. Now the options changed a little bit. And the important part is to apply a style. Here, the drop down gives us many options. A good one to choose is bad. Another one that might work, I prefer bad because here, warning, what it does is it changes the font color to red when it's a duplicate. But for bad, it also will highlight the cell with the color red or pink, which makes the colors look a little more obvious. Now hit OK. So now we see for cell A5 and A13, it's both highlighted red with red font because it's a duplicate. Now the conditional formatting is applied. If I change the value back to something unique, we see that the highlighted number three disappears. It goes back to normal black and white formatting. Now, if you were wondering what happens if there's an empty cell or if there's a space, will it still consider as a duplicate or not? Well, in short, empty cells are ignored, but spaces are actually considered a value. So to demonstrate, I'll just change this by hitting the delete key so it becomes an empty cell. And then here I'll put in a space and press enter. Notice we don't have any duplicates shown yet. Down here, let's make this an empty cell. I'll press delete here. And we notice that there's still no duplicates. If we change this to a space, now we see cell A6 and cell A9 are both highlighted red, meaning it's a duplicate. Now one final thing is if you want to remove the conditional formatting, you can simply reselect what you've chosen before or extend it a little further. It's all right. And we can right click on the selection and choose clear direct formatting. So after we do that, there's no longer conditional formatting in any of the cells that we've selected. So that's it for this quick tip. If you found it helpful, I recommend you to watch my other video where I go over a few more scenarios on how to use conditional formatting to help make your data stand out. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.